Hi, Windsor. I wanted to talk with you this week about some things that are going on in our world. In our government, there's an inauguration tomorrow, and there's a lot that's happening in our culture. Things with uh, big technology companies like Facebook and Twitter, and lots of us are thinking about this. Like, what does this mean? What is God doing? How do we respond? I want to encourage you with this. God has given us the truth, and he's revealed it in his word. And that is a real gift to us, and we need to hold really, really closely to it right now. So in Psalm 119, there's a lot that's written about the Word of God, the Bible. In 119, 160, we read, The sum of your word is truth. And it's a real blessing because God's Word is a refuge to us, and it's a gift that He's given to us through His Word. When Jesus prayed for His, his disciples, he prayed for the 12 that were with him, and he prayed for us who would believe in him because of their message. And this is one thing that he prayed. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Now, when Jesus prayed that, what he was praying was that God would, through his word, make us holy. That he would change us and guide us as we go. So we need to be in his word. I want to encourage you to be reading your Bible, filling your mind with the truth of God's word. And keep going back to it. When you read the Bible, it changes the way you think. It transforms your mind and it renews you so that you can know what's true and you'll be able to spot a lie. You'll be able to discern what is false. It will guard you from sin and it will guide you in the way that you should go. And there's a real blessing with this because Jesus said to some people that believed in him, he said, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So as we try to navigate this world right now, I want to encourage you to know the truth of God by reading the Bible. I'll see you soon.